to be bad for everyone involved. <laughs> I'd rather you leave here not laughing than with your eardrums popped, so. <laughs> so they're repeating humor again. So my name's Thomas. Uh, I'm a senior. It's fun. I'm a big guy, as you can probably tell. Six, seven, hundred pounds. <laughs> It's a good thing I'm a, I'm a tall guy because if I were any shorter, all this weight would you know start going out, you know? I'd just be like, like this huge guy. And like, blah, blah. But it has it ups, its ups and downs. Like if I'm ever in a crowd, I can always easily find someone. It's like, hey, where's that one person? Always leave right over there. Okay. There we go. So I went for a roller coaster once. And see, roller coaster, that's the downside to being a big person like I am. So I'm lying for about three hours. I finally get up there. My friends get on, they get on, I'll find. It's one of those where your feet like dangle, you know, and you're kind of like sitting up. So, so I get up there. I get up there. I sit down. I really wish they had like a seat out front so you could test it first. Like they're starting to do that, which is good. So I go to sit down, and and immediately I just I'm not fitting. Like, <laughs> I can already tell it's going to be painful. So, so I'm trying really hard, and I finally get down, and I'm sitting down in the seat, and I'm like, good. But then I look over, and the hinge to the shoulder strap is below my shoulder. So we put the, the, the thing down, and it gets to about here. That, that's good, right? That's good? Are we good? No, we got we to gotta get the belt. All right, all right. So then I'm sitting there trying to pull this thing down. Then we got the... Now keep in mind, everyone else are, is already in the coaster. They're all strapped up. They're ready to go. They're like, no, oh, you're strapped down there. Strapped down there. <laughs> so I'm trying to get the thing. But of course, the attendant guy, he's like, <laughs> he's like trying his hardest to get that thing down. And it's just, I mean, I'm already slouched like this, and it's, it's already, it didn't work out. So, so I got off the coaster. It sucked. My friend wrote it. So. I gotta catch my breath. Whew. All that moving, you know. It's crazy. <laughs> public restrooms are pretty pretty bad too for tall people. You ever notice that the public restrooms they got the toilet paper, but it's always here? <laughs> and I'm a stand up here, so I get done and I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> I'm trying to like reach down and, and, and keep it controlled and <laughs> and then, have you ever gone to the, the public restroom at the Speedway down on the like right there? It's got the hand dryer. The hand dryer is the loudest hand dryer in the entire world. You turn the thing on, it's like, like it really wants to dry your hands. <laughs> but the bad part of that is, you hear someone go in there, you hear the flush, and then it's obvious they didn't wash your hands because you don't hear the dryer. <laughs> Like, well, 
How fast are we going? Do you know how fast I got to go in 84? <laughs> Fuck, I fucked up the joke. Damn it. We have speedy tickets. Give me speedy. We pulled up. You know how fast are we going? I got you going 81 out there. I was not going 81. I was clearly going 84. <laughs> clearly. But I didn't tell him that. That's not something you want to tell. So that was my first speedy ticket. And then the second one I got about 20 minutes later. <laughs> Seriously, like, talk about bad luck, right? You get off the highway, I turn a corner, and there's another one there. And he was like moving, and he was like, a, I don't know how he got it. He had like a sniper radar or something. He's like, we got a van, we got a van that's coming down the hill. 45 and a 40, we're getting them. <laughs> that's crazy. That's got my third one like a month and a half later. <laughs> <laughs> it, those are bad. Those, those <laughs> so then he, he gets in, and it's like six in the morning because what I was I was following the high school band up to Cedar Point because they were they were going to march in the morning there, and I videotape, I do videography for them. So I'm following them up there, and of course we get stuck behind a damn train. I mean, we stop at McDonald's for breakfast, and then we leave literally two minutes after the bus leaves, and then there's a train. <laughs> so I'm speeding up the highway trying to get trying to catch up with the bus. <laughs> And that, that, that wasn't easy to tell a story, right? Not what I told the cop. It was, it was uncomfortable. It's like, why were you going so fast? Are you going to hurry? Like he, that's how he started. He said, you're going to hurry? And my friends were sleeping in the back, and they're like, who is that? So he said, you're going to hurry? And I'm like, well, yeah, I was, I was, I was following some friends up, up, to, up to Sandusky, and, and they, they went fast, and then I was going fast. And I, was, I was trying to catch up because I was lost, and I started looking around. I started looking around to make sure he knew I was lost. I'm lost. I have no idea where I am. I mean, it, this isn't even my car. I don't know made it work. But then cops, they make you scared of Crown Victorias, you know? The car that all the cops drive. So every time you see a white Crown Vic, you start freaking out. What I want to do is, I want to get a white Crown Vic and then put just some kind of bar on the top of it, just so when someone sees you in the review mirror, you see something up there on the top of a white Crown Vic and they start freaking out. That would be funny. <laughs> just like speak past people doing that.